I'm Pat Lincioni here with Chris Stefanik, and here is your three-minute reset. I'm thinking today about the concept of detachment from outcomes, and that is to focus on what we're doing, not the end result of that. And this is countercultural because so often we think about what grade we're going to get or what the score at the end of the game is going to be or what our numbers are going to look like at the end of the quarter or our bonus. And I understand that in the world, but so often that deprives us of the joy of what we're actually doing. Yeah. And, and I remember when I was in college, I, I was an economics major, but I took screenwriting and journalism and I was so excited. And you know what I did? I took them pass fail hmm. because I didn't ever want to care about what my grade was. I knew I could pass and I would just go to class and I would learn and I would soak it in. I had so much fun. And the performance I had was actually better than if I had been thinking, is this going to be on the test? You know, it's amazing. We forget why we're doing things. If if we get too caught up in the outcomes and and that that deprives us of all the joy of the thing we started doing in the first place. I'll give you an example. This very podcast, I mean, it started with, I'm thinking how wonderful we get to reach people, inspire them in their daily life. Within a few days of it going live, I'm obsessing on where is it rating, where is it trending, how many people are listening, you know, and it's been so helpful, like just today, we're talking to you, Pat, before we did this, let's pray for the people that are listening. And that reminds me, oh yeah, duh, I'm doing this to bless, what if it's one person? That's great. Yeah. Thank God I love you, that one person. Right. This is why I'm doing this, right? But if you get lost in successful outcomes, quote, success, however we're defining that, it just takes all the purpose, all the joy away from whatever we started doing in the first place. And the purpose is always related to people, Mm -hmm. not to numbers. Numbers are, by their very definition, inanimate. Hmm. But the story of one person who benefits from something, and that's true if it's in our business or in ministry or anything we're doing, at the end of the day, nobody goes to bed at night or at the end of their life and says, look at these numbers. Yeah. They say, look at this impact that this had on a person yeah. or many more. And yet so many of the CEOs I know and other people that have been very successful get caught up in the numbers, lose sight of what they're doing and their joy diminishes, mm. which is tragic because so many of them are doing things they really love and that love for what they do gets driven away by their obsession with the, the measurable. Well, let's pray. Lord, help us not to get caught up in in false definitions of success, but just to be faithful to whatever you place in front of us today and to not lose sight of why, why we were drawn to those things in the first place. Help us to stay attached to you, to people, and to the joy of serving. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.